Hey guys, make sure to get entered into our huge giveaway. We will be giving away one or more of these products at random every 1,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and drop a comment on this video. Good luck. Hey everybody, how's it going? We are going to show you how to load some meat onto these stone glacier packs. It'll be the same for all of their packs. Basically what they have is a pack frame with the bag that separates. And so what we're going to do is take the meat and put it in between the bag and the pack frame. So now I'm going to disassemble the pack and get it ready for the load of meat that's coming up next. So first step, we're going to undo these top buckles and this will release the bag from the frame on the top to allow us to put the meat in there. I'm gonna loosen these. And then once you go inside, there are these little compression straps. These are what keep the bag locked down to the frame. So we're gonna go ahead and release these since we don't need the bag on just yet. This will release the load shelf as well. Okay. Make sure to loosen up all the straps on the bottom so the meat can slide clear down to the very bottom and doesn't get wedged up in the middle. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Give these plenty of space. We're going to be putting two shoulders of an elk on this thing. So we need plenty of room in the bottom for them to sit down on here. Okay. So now that all that's loose, we can take the bag off. I'm actually gonna unbuckle these top ones since this elk meat's a lot bigger than deer meat. We're gonna unbuckle these too. All right. So this is ready now for the load of meat. We're just gonna set it right there and then cinch everything down. All right, we're gonna put two front shoulders on this thing and get them all cinched down so that looks pretty good so now the next step would be to cinch down the load shelf and make sure it's secure and that it's going to be where we want it so go ahead and do that flip the bag back over and now we'll start securing all the straps one at a time around the bag and then we'll tighten them down a little at a time until they're all tight so the nice thing about these bags is they actually have buckles on the side that you can buckle back up and then tighten down a little bit. Makes it super easy for loading meat fast. So now we're gonna snug all these up before we do the top. So let's go ahead and make sure the tension's out of this a little bit. Okay, the next step we need to do is we need to attach the pack frame back to the bag. Do that by feeding this back through this attachment here and then back out the back. And tighten that down. Okay. Now all of our straps are done up, so now we're going to go tighten everything up and secure the bag to the, to the pack frame and sandwich the meat inside. So here we go. The last step here, we need to reconnect 
the strap back to the pack frame and then we'll be ready to go. So I'll hurry and do that. Go. Pick it up. <laughs> Let's see what you got. <laughs> this could be interesting. it down but I think that's gonna do the trick all right I'll head okay. to the truck. first load he's got the back straps the neck meat and the other random meat and the head cape and we're headed to the truck Whew, my legs are wobbly I've got the two front shoulders in my pack. Feeling good though. These freaking stone glacier packs are awesome. We like to use the Solo 3200 for our day pack. And these things will pack out whatever two elk shoulders weigh easily. And they have plenty of space in the bag to fit in anything you'd need for a full day. Even we even went on a three day hunt with them a pack-in hunt this summer and they fit everything we needed. They just make, Stone Glacier just makes some super solid packs. We love their packs. Oh.